Typically, you may have many works to showcase, in which case you should create a gallery grid page as your portfolio. To do this, you need to create a new page and publish it. Then enter the BM Content Builder to create the layout. Start by adding a grid module and selecting Portfolio as the source option. Choose a category that represents the specific category of your single portfolio. Save your changes to see the initial appearance of the grid list. To further customize the grid, Reopen the grid editor and select the number of columns, including the number of columns for mobile layouts. You can also adjust the horizontal and vertical spacing. Save your changes and exit to see the overall effect. Next, edit the grid again to set the thumbnail ratio. Then preview the actual web page. In the Page Options panel, you can hide the page title and view the effects. Use the Mobile Preview mode in the Chrome browser to check the layout on mobile devices such as adjusting the number of columns from 1 to 2 and setting different spacing. Let's switch to another layout style, the waterfall layout. Set the grid item ratio to auto and change the grid type to waterfall. Preview the water wall layout. Revert back to the standard grid layout. Enable the fit image into grid option so that the images are not cropped. It should look like this. Below is a demonstration of how to set up filters. First, you need to enable the filter. You will notice that the categories from your portfolios will appear here. Prior to this, please set up the categories for your works in the Portfolio Categories screen. It should have a main category, such as Works, and then you can set up subcategories under the Works category. If you select the Works category in the Grid module, its subcategories will appear as filters. Now let's demonstrate the pagination options. If you want to use the Load More way, select Load More button in the Pagination selector. Make sure the number of items per page is smaller than the total number of your works. For example, if you have 10 works, you can set it to display 6 works per page. When you preview, you will see the Load More button. Clicking on the Load More button will display the works from the second page. Alternatively, you can choose the infinite scroll method for pagination. As you scroll down the page, the next set of works will automatically load when the bottom of the list reaches the bottom of the screen. Of course, you don't necessarily have to create some portfolios. The grid module also supports displaying images directly. In the source option, choose Media Library. And you can also set the number of columns and spacing. Among other options, you can set the item style as image plus text. You can also customize the text style, which will be displayed below the image. You can modify the image title in the media library and then close the panel it will be saved automatically. Additionally, you can set a target link address for each image. You can also set image categories. The image categories will appear in the filters. Now, 
Let's select the source as Portfolio again and demonstrate how to set the text style. You can set the font, text size for desktop, laptop, and mobile, spacing, and color. Furthermore, you can also choose the text alignment. Let's set the item style back to image. You can set the effect when hovering over the image by selecting mask plus text. You can adjust the transparency and color of the mask. Save and preview the web page to see the effect. Choose to display the second featured image. Save and preview the web page. When you hover over the image, it will disappear and the second featured image will be displayed. Open the portfolios list and edit a single portfolio. In the sidebar, you can add and edit the second featured image for this portfolio. Go back to the editing interface of the grid module. We can choose to display both the second featured image and text. Save and preview the web page to see the effect. You can also choose no effect and preview the page. You will notice that there is no effect when hovering over the image. In fact, we have two new options. One option is to enlarge the image, preview the page to see the effect. This option is called full screen floating text, and it works better with large fonts. Preview the web page to see the effect. Please note that if the source option is set to media library, these are the only four available options. Now let's demonstrate the options for the list area. You can set the internal padding and background color. Let's set the grid module to full width and preview the web page to see the effect. Go back to the editing interface and restore the default settings for list area. Let's introduce the action options when clicking on the thumbnail. The default option is to open a single portfolio or post. Let's choose open lightbox and preview the page. After clicking on the image, it will be displayed through the lightbox. Go back to the editing interface. The option for opening a portfolio will show whether to open it in a new window or tab, preview the page, and it will open the target web page in a new tab. Return to the editing page, the option called tab once to open on touch screen. When enabled, will not display the hover effect on mobile devices, including other touch screen devices. Please notice that if the light box is activated, it will always open via once tab.